Hi, this is Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere? Also the exam scam series of titles, including the Sun Certified Job Associate book. Um, please head over to my website and pick up a couple of copies. Anyways, I'm not here just to sell books. One of the things I want to do is actually want to show you how to create a enterprise application that includes a web module inside of Rational Application Developer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new enterprise application project called Exam Scam. It's going to have a single web module inside of it. So it's a J2EE application with a web module called Exam Scam Web. And inside of that web module I'm going to create that is a Java-based component that handles web-based requests as opposed to a serviette, which is a French-Canadian napkin. Anyways, under Java Resources and Java Source, I'm going to create a new other, specifically a web component called a servlet. I'm going to call this Country Snooper. We'll have a mapping of Country Snooper. It'll be in the package com.examscam.servlet. And it will have a do get method. So I'm going to leave the do get method selected. And then I will click finish. Now magically, code appears under Java source. There is my country snooper. And look at this all of these comments. We all know good code comments itself. I'm get rid of those. But essentially what I want to do here is I actually want to find out what country a person is from. And inside of a servlet, anything you want to know about the client is hidden in that request object. Anything you want to do to the client is hidden in that HTTP servlet response object that gets passed in. Request response. So, if I want to know what country a user is from, I just say to the request, hey, a request just came in get me the locale of this person, and more specifically, get me their country. And if this person is Canadian, I can't stand that autocomplete, I'm going to send them a message doing something to the client is done through the response object. So I say response dot get writer dot print. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to print to them, hey, let's go for a Tim Hortons copy. Now, if the user isn't Canadian, then they probably don't appreciate good coffee. And I'm going to say to the user, well, ugh. Guess we settle for Starbucks. Because Americans like overpaying for coffee. And people often say to me, Cameron, well, you know, you're kind of doing Canadians and Americans. There's more countries out there. Actually, there's not. Those are the only really two important countries out there. Anyways, um, so I now save that. That's my little servlet. It handles an incoming request object, finds what country the request is coming from, and depending on where it's from, dynamically figures out a message for the user. I'm going to save that and then right click on my country snooper and say run on server. This will deploy my application to a WebSphere application server version 6. You can see the exam scam web is the project being deployed. Exam scam with the exam scam web. I click on finish and momentarily I will see this little message here, which has figured out magically that I'm a Canadian, and it's also figured out that I like Tim Hortons coffee. So there we go. Let's go for Tim Hortons coffee. Now, if I was actually in here and I said, hey, I'm not a Canadian, I went back to the browser. I would say, ugh, guess we settle for Starbucks. So that gives you an idea of how to create a simple servlet, create a simple J2EE application, and using IBM's Rational Application Developer, deploy it and actually test it.
Now, that's about it for this tutorial. Again, I'd just like to suggest go to my website, www.pulpjava.com, or even go to examscam.com, and please pick up a copy of What is WebSphere or one of my ExamScam certification guides. Thank you very much.